Okay, so Cherry Lake. Show, show the fine folks at Cherry Lake. Hey, hitting the Cherry Lake today? Well, that's what, about an hour drive from our base in uh, Groveland up to the Cherry Lake. Yeah, about an hour, Mo 10 minutes. Um, we got a kit, so kit 1.0, which is a trout fishing kit. Be doing some filming and uh, finishing out the training series um, for this upcoming kit. So, in uh, it was about four years ago, um, I was on this pretty devastating fire here. And this is a gorgeous little area, right? Um, in the Sierras, right? Foothills of the Yosemite, so to speak. Yeah, not so little. Yeah, I can't even call them foothills though. They're the mountains. Uh, they're in the matchsticks. Look at that. Um, little burnt uh, tree carcasses here. But uh, yeah, this is uh, what took place. Uh, it's called the Rim Fire. I was devastated. We almost lost a house here, a uh, house in Groveland. Um, but it ended, ended up being okay, but everything else burned down. So. That's a stream that we would like to fish at some point. We keep saying that every time we come around. Yeah, but this, just... that's, a, that's a definitely a. There's definitely trout there. Uh, probably brown trout. Uh, they stock this. They, no, they don't stock the stream. They stock for sure. They stock all of the Ptolemy uh, River and all of the tributaries. Um, everything is stocked. Not this. Dude. I mean, yeah. th this this is a hydroelectric plant uh, that, that's on this river. I guarantee they don't stock they, it. They stock it 100%. Uh, and you, like, you can look it up. But what I can tell you from personal experience is I fished uh, all these creeks, creeks here, and um, it's this year they didn't plant because of the COVID, and that's that's why I only caught like a couple of really tiny native trout. Um, but there, um, it used to be every every time we go there, there's a limit. Um, well, I know, I'm sure they stock some limit of, the of rainbow, some of the stock creeks, rainbow. but that but stock rain, that stock trout doesn't make it everywhere up, up and down the creek. And I guarantee you that it probably doesn't make it here to the to the hydroelectric plant. But the brown trout, which is native to this, most of these creeks, uh, it's smaller, but honestly, it tastes way better. Well, I mean, they, they all taste good, but I mean, it's a, brown trout is uh, it's less fatty, uh, but the meat is has just excellent texture. Uh, so, but yeah, yeah it's pretty good. You, you, but they're pretty small. Usually. They're they're fairly small. Yeah, um, I mean, you'll be lucky if you get a pounder. Um, but yeah, they're actually, but they're they're very good fighters too. They're tech, usually a lot more active than uh, rainbow. So this is pretty uh, low. It's the lowest we've seen it in a while. So I guess we can fish from that lip. It'll be nice and flat. Too bad we didn't take chairs. So we're gonna try to uh, find a way down to the lake to drive up to the water. So we're gonna have to do rock hopping uh, with all the gear. Looks like the water is low enough for for that to happen. Okay. Oh wow, this this is as this is as low as I as I've seen it in a long time. I mean, when they two years ago when they drained the lake to work on the dam, that's um, that's the lowest I've seen it. But look at this little. Okay, so let's put the power bait onto the hook. So we have number fourteen hook. This one comes with the kit. So the way I put them in is I would take the power bait, take the line right through it, kind of cut with the line, and then sort of slide the hook into the power bait. And then I'm going to put some effort into making this quite tight because I don't want it to come off and then fish with empty hook. So that's about it. Then you want to check if it floats first before you put in. So that's how you, how you set up. Now let's do the cast. This is your setup. The power bait is on. I actually have some mushed garlic, fresh garlic that I put my fingers in and then molded this with the garlicky hands because that's, that's a little trick. That's a secret I use. That fresh garlic scent, they just can't stay away. Trout really likes that and uh, you'll get You'll get good bites. 
I think I can out catch my brother today. He would probably have something to say about that. Whip, right? So I'm gonna whip the end of it. Check it out, let's see how far it goes. And I'm gonna stop it right there, it's a little too far. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close it and let it sink down and get a little bit closer because I want it a little bit closer, that's too far. And we found today they're a lot closer in than, uh, than I would think. And it's still very, very deep. So right now we're getting a bite. So right there, I'm getting a bite. And that's kind of unusual, but sometimes this happens. And I might already lost the power bait. Oh, no, I haven't. Nope, nothing there yet. But I've been definitely getting a bite right when I throw in. This is very unusual. Got him. Ah, no, nothing. Nothing. I was getting bites. A little patience wouldn't hurt. But... Oh wow, there's a there's a there's a trout right there. They're sitting right there. Oh yeah, I had a bite right what I just put in. So it's a rainbow bait with some garlic on it. Um, I guess what I what happened is I put it right on a fish, and when that happens, they just swim up and uh, snatch it. So that's very uncommon. But let's put another bait on. Wow, I, I got the trout as I was watching it. Look at that. Oh wow, you got him. I let's take a look. Wow, Paul's got one. Fish here, but they're actually yeah. chasing uh, bait right in the water. We're on the fish, so I think you know what? I think there's a lot of trout. I can see them right in the water. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fish with some uh, lures. By the way, I think we're getting uh, we're getting inspection uh, coming up to us. Let's see if uh, we can't uh, continue to fish here. I hope we can. Let's see what happens is when it's deep, when you put it deep, you wait a little bit longer. But you get a big hookup, like my big lassen that I just got, two and a half pounds, uh, maybe two. Um, anyway, let's put another bait on. Are we getting action here? Yeah, looks like it. Which Good one? Bite. That one is far. Which one had an action? But it's over now. It was a small. Okay. It was a small one, and it took, took it off. So, someone might have just run into the line. In there, in there. Yep, got oh, him. all right. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Either that or a hook. All right, you gotta get me. Uh, you get me faster than that. We'll do. Whoa. Thank you got it. Let's see, so when you're fighting the fish, make sure your drag is not all the way in. You give the fish a little bit of a free free rain because then they'll rip see that trout right there right next to it he has a friend right there so this is a beautiful last and look at this just let that one in the net oh it's, that's a first big win oh, yeah oh, that's, that's a nice one. probably a three that's pounder a two pounder yeah two and a half i did some ranging basically putting one far out and one will be closer in to see It'll be that one. where they stay. The one far just kind of just stays quiet. This one right away, as soon as I put it in. Um, got a beautiful one. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at her. Okay, she's just still feisty. But calm down. It's okay. Ooh. I don't like to get all that calm down calm down calm down there she is there she is since we're keeping them we're gonna put them on the on a leash and keep on fishing yeah not a huge one, but uh, no, not a big one, but a nice one nonetheless. Let's go look at her. Ooh, it's a that's a rainbow. That's a 
good eating still. That's exact, about yeah, exactly the same one I let go. Yeah, we will see. Both of them. So here's the casting technique, okay? Um, step one is make sure you have your holder already inserted before you start the cast. Now you see how big my leader line is on this one? It's about almost three, some three and a half feet. The reason why it's so big, because check out those rocks all around. That's what's on the bottom. And if the leader is too short, it'll be inside the rock somewhere. So it won't be as effective because fish won't find it. That's why I like a bigger leader. Now you want to have your weight about 12 to I'd say 16 inches. You got a bite behind you. From the tip, and we're getting a bite. So why don't it's we all right. wait? It's all right. And get that one. So when you get in the bite, we're gonna just put this. We're not gonna cast. Because I'll be irresponsible. So let's see if we can't get us a fish. Right as we're speaking. Oh yeah. She's on. Or she's at least she's interested. Let's see. So this is the bite. Now she's biting. And I'm gonna. Set the hook, set the hook. Okay, go, fight, fight on, fight on. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, right away, take a look. Make sure your surroundings are clear. She's swimming this way. Or hopefully she didn't come off. But carefully walk in this particular case. We have all these rocks here. Ooh, I got nothing, I think. Ooh, I have one, I have it. Oh, she, I think she's stuck. She's stuck. There she is. Oh, it's not a huge one, but man, that's so that's the way. So the way, let me just explain something. Thank you. So I'm gonna deal with her in a moment. So the situation in, in this particular rocky area, there's the two way to set up for your bite. One way is you tie, make the line tight and let it get hooked just like what you saw here. The other way to do this is to have a loose line, I'll show in a little bit, and when the fish bites, it sort of slowly comes up, and you can tell what the, the bite, and then you set the hook. The problem with a slow bite indicator, or free going bite indicator, is all these rocks, the fish gets inside, and if you don't hook it immediately, in other words, automatically, um, you have no chance of getting it, and you're gonna lose all your gear. Happened to me already twice three times so we experimented we tried multiple things and ended up with just straight up set the rod set it tight close the close the drag let itself hook which is what happened here all right cool this one's a keeper so we're just gonna keep it just gonna pull it up just like that not recommended but oh okay you see that's why you don't do it you see I just broke the line that's a perfect lesson for all of us, is lifting the fish like that puts a lot of strain on your rod and it breaks the line. But what is the whole setup? Anyway, what not to do? Still on that, whoa, got a good one. Okay, let's pull one out. Yep, she's on. Oh, it's a nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can feel it. Deep is good. Okay. So, at this point, we want to have a drag set. That's a big one. I don't want to let it go. Oh, it feels like a three pounder. Wow. Oh, I can see it. Color. It is a big one. It's coming. It's right there. Oh, wow. I can't really do much. She's powerful. She's putting her weight down. Ooh, look at that pretty, pretty fish. Look at her. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, well this one, I guess is lazy somewhat. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! Okay, another lesson. Another lesson. No lures needed. Just straight power bait, power bait and go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's take the hook off. So typically, I would have a glove on the left hand, 
just like that so I can grab the fish. And this very basic hook puller is what it does, it dislodges the, the treble hook fairly easily. And this one's just hooked in by, by the lip, see? By the tongue, basically. Man, what a nice looking fish. Yep, and that's it. The hook stays inside of the hook puller. The fish is ready to go on that chain. Alright. I mean, this net is nice, but it's so freaking bulky. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend a bulky net like this. Not right now. Okay, so Cherry Lake. Show, show the fine folks the Cherry Lake. They're a beautiful place. And uh, we got ourselves some trout, and It's uh, dinner on the table. Um, amazing, delicious fish. The big ones, these guys, these are Lassen trout. Uh, they're basically, uh, they were uh, bred at Lassen uh, Hatchery, which is uh, the kind of uh, salmon hybrid, I believe, because the meat is pink and uh, really, really delicious. These are good eaters, but the small ones are also extremely delicious. Whether you fillet them, cook them whole, 